Hello, Indicade. I wanted to say listeners because I'm not used to uh, do videos. As you can see, uh, Grund also have podcast, and we have one awesome upcoming episode. Uh, if you know what the Southern Gothic is, uh, what is the Denver sound? You probably know what's who's Jay Munley, and I spoke with him. So yeah, uh, we are back, back approximately where we left off in the demo in the first stream. Uh, this stream will be uh, a bit shorter, uh, but I will be more precise because I'm gonna tell you about what about new stuff that will be in the full game. Uh, the stuff you can't see in the demo well it's it won't be nothing groundbreaking but um, so here we are we are at the farm after dream sequence so yeah uh, in the demo there's one dream sequence uh, you are not specifically told that it's it's a dream sequence um, I even had a bug report uh, stating that uh, uh, before that level there's uh, some really bad uh, screen bug. It doesn't show properly, but actually it should do that. Uh, actually, it's intended to do that stuff. Anywho, uh, dream sequences in this game are important as they are one of major points uh, that um, contributes to the to the ending of the story and uh, yeah uh, things you do there matter anywho uh, dream sequences are not let's just jump into the pause screen or Let's just uh, jump into the pause screen. Uh, yeah, you, you won't see anything about dream sequences here. Um, and you cannot go back to those locations. Uh, there's only one time thing. W but let's, uh, let's focus on the thing that will be new uh, to in, in the full game. Uh, in the main menu, it will stay practically the same. Uh, in the demo I cheated, actually uh, inventory will be scrollable. In the demo it's not. Ha ha ha, but you don't have so many <laughs> inventory items. Uh, but it's already fixed now and you will be able to look on the items uh, more closely. Uh, we have, we will have also bigger images uh, because it will matter at one point uh, journal will look prettier uh, I think uh, uh, the text placement is a bit off here why in the world I, I need so much space uh, for for quest titles I don't know if you know just let me know there's no use for... We don't need dead space here. I, I'm all for dead space when it's used properly and it, this is not the, the place where it is used properly. Uh, map stays... Uh, it, it's, it's our new map. Uh, it obviously stays uh, as it is. Uh, the map will fill everything here. Uh, you might miss some locations. It's up to you. So, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go, let's go. Where, where do we go? Uh, let's go. So, first dream sequence. And look. 
Ah. Huh. I don't want to spoil anything now. Yeah. Uh, the, these orbs. Uh, they're like there's a small orb, when and you can see that there's something interactable, and when the orb has those waves, then you can actually click. Um, from the user perspective, I have heard numerous times that they are a bit confusing. I do uh, state in a, in a tutorial that um, those orbs are somewhere nearby something you can interact with. It, it's not uh, placed exactly on the thing you can interact with. But uh, as I hear, it's not good enough. Uh, yeah, and I, I totally understand. People want to Leave click me, on the orb. Shut off! Oh. Yeah, uh, I guess uh, in our playthrough we did not part well with Greg, so yeah, we will shut off. Um, okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> I think I will uh, edit uh, a bit. Uh, the placement of these orbs also the as you can see ah no nah, you can't because I have that orange art on it but uh, in the demo you always saw to whom you're speaking to uh, like the, the name appeared like for example here I can read Greg uh, at the bottom of the screen this will go away you you will know the name of the NPC through dialogues it will show there it will show up there but uh, yeah this one will be gone so yeah if you want to set off we'll set off uh, and where would we go we can go the station. Let's go to the station. So here we are. Um, Ticketmaster. Ah, yeah. Uh, in the demo, there's uh, one um, like. Uh, Oh, how to say this? I am recording this and I don't know how to say Respectively, we have the times change. This all story is uh, through one night, and but obviously we have evening, later evening and night. So this will change. By the end of the game you won't see these beautiful skies no -uh. maybe you will see a train here who knows hey sir hey sir hey kiddo so did you find your friend We saw each other. I just wish you could come closer and I could touch him again. Is this a cat by any chance? Hmm. He's so furry and beautiful. And he sees me, just like you, sir. So, as you can see here, uh, we already have the choices that you already have have made uh, like dialogue choices are in a grayish color uh, uh, I will add also numbers to the answer to the answers or questions what have you uh, I will do whatever hero speaks and uh, yeah 
like good old RPGs and you will be able to select uh, uh, hello that's my wife uh, um, yes 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 <laughs> sorry uh so yeah uh like in the good old days uh go no it's 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 happening now as well disco elysium amen um yeah you'll be able to select uh, your answers or questions by pressing a uh, number buttons on your keyboard but the main thing uh, in this game from the get-go was to make it playable just with one hand and mouse because you need other hand for coffee uh, so yeah uh, I've got some milk oh boy One thing about an inventory, inventory items and their description will matter. I am still not sure how um, how offensive I I want to be with uh, guiding the player, like by for example by writing in the quest notes. You should look at this item. I don't know. I th I hope I will find the balance. So people who uh, like a bit more challenge. Well, people who like challenge in the puzzle games, they, they won't probably find like enough challenge here because this game is about the mood and story. Uh, in the demo, there is no puzzles. There's one puzzle. I thought it's it's a puzzle, but uh, many people just uh, even didn't consider it a puzzle, so... Uh-oh. -uh. Yeah, uh, but uh, puzzles will be made uh, mostly through dialogue. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, I did not want to include any bigger challenges in uh, within the demo just uh, for a reason that players could think that it will be even more after in the full game and then they'll see that oh there's not and that's better be honest right uh, there are some for me at least it, it would be a challenging puzzle it's challenging but yeah it's, it's just within the story limits and uh, nothing more for example here in this um, somewhere in this conversation you can ask the guy one specific question then you will have quest side quest to go and find something and with that something you will be able to get to close location that it's off limits now i think it's a puzzle it is kind of a puzzle but yeah um a lot of people actually miss miss that and that's also good well that's life okay so um <laughs> Uh, Milk is taken out okay. and poured into a saucer-shaped crack in the concrete platform. After some time, a little kitten shows up, slowly stepping out of the bushes. He is as black as the blackest night, and has big green eyes. Slowly, he walks up and drinks. Our hero and kid sit there in silence for a while, and just look at how the little cat drinks. Leaving the basin half empty, the cat comes up to the kid and gives him a little bump with his head, and then scurries off. So, as you can probably feel, that um, sometimes there's a lot of text. And this is a game where sometimes there's a lot of text. 
So, do you have a name for the cat? Oh, no. Sir, you know any good cat names? So, Warchant, Behemoth, Fenris. Warchant, uh, those three easter eggs. And uh, I have not told about them anywhere, I guess. This is an indie cade special. Warchant is a uh, is a Easter egg uh, regarding uh, Latvian pagan metal uh, band Skyforger and the album Semigals Warchant. Behemoth is is an Easter egg for. Bulgakov uh, novel Master and uh, Margarita uh, Behemoth was a black cat well mm, he was a uh, he was devil's henchman uh, and usually he was looked like a cat black cat and Fenris is a uh, hey to Norwegian band Dark Throne and it's one of the members Fenris. I actually interviewed him last year. It's in first season's last episode. Go check out that one. So yeah, let's on and you will hear a sound bite which is also an easter egg. It's really small, it's really, it's subtle. Okay, you'll be careful then. I don't think it would change much if I wouldn't. Hmm, I think there's an old hag in the old house. I think my friend is from there, didn't like it. That rope of mine should be somewhere, not a whole lot of people come here. So yeah. He told us about the rope. So... I've been there, you know. There. I had a rope here, but it seems to be gone now. Change did not come Two times, here. yeah. I'm guiding a player sometimes probably too much. Uh, okay, I have a favor to ask you, little man. For me? Um, I don't... I need someone to open the gate. Well, you did help me with the cat. Yes. Yes, I quick. did, man. That's a nasty place. Yeah. So yeah. As you can see, now we have another quest here, which will be colored differently. Do I have a rope? Ah, oh, here's a bug. The, there shouldn't be the, these. Uh, the last line shouldn't be here. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Because if we go back a bit. Hmm. Yeah. It's just a quest description. Bug. Okay, down. What else? I'll show you the dog problem. What else will be new? New music? Uh, I actually thought about a little tool with which you could make screenshots. Uh, it's just an idea. I don't know. Maybe. Drinks. No chatty chat. Do you have a rope by any chance? You probably mean that old thing I found. Yes, take it. Oh yes, and uh, there will be a notifications uh, when the quest is updated. Maybe. 
I actually I'm not I'm still not sure do I want to keep them do, even it, it's a, just a little thing like that pops out Doo -doo. you have quest update do I do we actually need it in this game I don't know I just don't know Seriously, it feels like I need to make two versions of this game, like uh, with a check mark at the beginning, uh, and then you you get more or less uh, help. I don't know. So we got the rope. Oh, yes. And we can travel back to the... Aha, uh -huh. here's the rope. That works, awesome. Isn't that awesome when something works? <laughs> okay. And, yeah. So, can you call it a puzzle? I don't know. Ah, yeah, you have. I will work on this. It will slightly change. The arrow itself will stay, but... Mm, do we need the camera so far? Or do we need the arrow so big? But yeah, we, we got the rope, and now we have... A new location open. A huge wheat field. While it does look clean and looked after, there is no sign of any sort of farming machinery. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, the fog is, l while looks awesome, it's static. It will not be static. It will not be static. And here we are on an optional NPC and dead dog. What a beautiful screenshot. Um, if your screen is bigger, you actually can see flies there. Uh, on this pretty note, can I, can, I, can I think about any more changes? Hmm. You'll have to see. You'll have to buy the game and see. Thank you. And uh, see you on the Indicate Stream 3. This one was like... Blah, blah, blah. A lot of blah, blah, blahs. <laughs> okay. Bye.